All right, guys. So I stumbled across this clip from the Whatever podcast, and it truly is an unbelievable clip in the sense that you have women, or presumably women. I don't know because nobody knows what a woman is, right? And that's kind of the whole point of the video. But you have women who are so afraid of being called transphobic, okay, or accused of some type of transphobia, that they don't even want to answer the question of what is a woman, right? Like they believe that engaging in that conversation somehow is inherently disrespectful uh, to the transgender community. And it's really sad, man, when you have women, grown women who know the answer to this question, uh, refusing to answer the question because they don't want to get canceled, right? They don't want the mob to come after them. And you can already tell that a lot of these girls just simply don't even want to engage because it's like, well, again, I, I don't want to get backlash from the mob. It's really sad. I mean, you can't really help women like this uh, if they can't even engage in basic conversation. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and play the clip. So what, I guess my question is, you keep you said uh, that they're both women, right? So what what is a woman? A woman is anyone who wants to identify as one. A cat is a cat because they are a cat. That's not like... I feel uh, like this isn't a gotcha. It's just a genuine question. I feel what like is some a woman? People hold on. Let's hold on. Go ahead. Um, I didn't have anything to say yet. But know. what is a woman? A person. <laughs> a woman is a person. <laughs> Again, it's just like, are, are you stupid? <laughs> you know, I mean, like legitimately, I have the question. Are you stupid or are you just afraid of the mob? Okay, I, I think that you're afraid of mob. I hope you're afraid of the mob. Okay, because I hope you're not this dumb where you, you can't define what a woman is. And presumably you're a woman. Okay, he, he should have asked, do you, do you know that you're a woman? Like, are you a woman? I would love to see her answer to that. Okay, because if she says that she's a woman, then clearly you you know what a woman is, right? You know what a woman is. No, but what is the definition of what is a woman? I don't know. I'm confused now. <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm confused now. <laughs> Again, are you stupid or are you dumb, right? Or are you afraid of the mob? It could be a little bit of all of it in this situation. I, I understand what your argument is. I, if I come out and I say a woman is a, someone who was born biologically a woman, I understand that that's where you're coming from. And I agree everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But I personally, I as an individual, respect trans people. I sure. respect trans women. So I'm not going to come on here and invalidate them by saying that. I understand completely where you're coming from. But just from my personal preference, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Answering. Yeah, so again, I, I don't understand how is it disrespectful or how are you invalidating trans women by just saying what the definition of a woman is, right? While just saying, look, a woman is a biological female, right? With X, Y chromosomes. That's what a woman is. Saying that is not disrespectful to trans people, right? Uh, the truth and facts are not disrespectful. If truth and facts are disrespectful, then you need to take it up with the truth and the facts, Right. Uh, the person that has an issue is the people that are offended, not the truth and the facts themselves. But again, we live in a society where you can't engage with truth, okay? You can't use facts because facts are bigoted, right? And they're transphobic. And they're disrespectful to the trans community. Again, do these people hear themselves talk, bro? Do they not hear themselves talk? The question. Okay. No, th hey, that's, that's okay. What about you? I'm just not really interested in having this conversation about trans people anymore it, because you seem very clearly committed to misunderstanding. Yeah. I well, I, misunderstanding. I, <laughs> He's committed to mis. Uh, what What does that mean? How 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 is somebody committed to misunderstanding when you don't even know the definition of a woman? You won't even define what a woman is because you're afraid of the mob, right? So again, I'm trying to figure out. Where's the misunderstanding? Is it from the biological men who keep telling you us that they're women when they're actually not? Or is it from people that are trying to like legitimately engage in a conversation that's grounded in facts and reality? Again, this is about, oh, I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. So we're going to not tell the truth, right? We're not going to rely on biological facts because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. Again, I'm still trying to figure out how in the world do women internalize misogyny to the point where they're literally standing up for men who want to be women 
I don't understand. I don't get it. They're, they're afraid to even speak on it. Right? They don't even want to speak on it. That's how much misogyny these women have internalized. It's a shame. It really is. Well, I, I'm, I am trying to understand. I'm just trying to get people's perspective. So what is a woman? I'm going to say what she said. I don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, this is... I just feel like that's, like, not... I don't know. I feel like there's a better question that you could be asked, that could be asked in this situation. We all respect the trans community mm -hmm. enough in, like, invalidating that... Like, telling... Th they believe that they are a woman or they're a man, transgender, whatever. And invalidating that is not... That's not our position. It's not our place to say what they can and can't be. See, women like this, it makes me not want to stand up for them. It makes you say, you know what? I don't care, <laughs> right? I'm going to let these men just dominate you, okay? Uh, I'm going to let them just, you know, take all your spaces, be in your locker rooms, because you don't want to invalidate them, right? <laughs> if you don't want to stand up for yourself, then you know what? I'm not standing up for you. I can't stand up for women like this. I'm sorry. Now, I know it's not all women. I, I hope most women don't agree with this, but if this is how... <laughs> A lot of women are. This is how a majority of women are on this issue. I don't care. I, I really don't care. I'm just like, all right, well, you don't care, so I don't care. Right? I'm just going to let, again, the men um, win the beauty pageants, dominate you in, in sports. They can be smarter than you on Jeopardy. Right? Um, you know, eventually they'll get uterus implants and they'll better get pregnant. And you'll just be replaced. Right? We just won't need women anymore. And if that's the route they want to go down, then, hey, it is what it is. And, you know, surgery is getting to the point now where, again, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between some of these, you know, men that have transformed themselves into women and real women. So I'm just saying, if this is the path that women want to go down, hey, be my guest, okay? But don't say I didn't warn you, okay? If you be like, hey, why you didn't do anything about it? Why you didn't you speak out about it? You roll this type of clip right here. You roll this because they don't care. They're too concerned about not hurting people's feelings than to simply just answer a basic question about what is a woman you're a woman right clearly you know what a woman is come on Allie what is a woman well, a woman is an adult human female it's the same thing like a man is an adult human male xx chromosomes that means you're a woman there are people that are born intersex they're an incredible minority and you know men are m humans who have xy chromosomes <laughs> look at all their faces bro <laughs> look at all their faces bro they can't stand it, bruh. They can't stand her. Apparently, that's hate speech. <laughs> hey, that's hate speech towards trans folks. Incredible, man. Again, we're living in the most effed up society. <laughs> this timeline is insane. I don't even know what to say anymore. I really don't. Oh, man. Uh, again, if this is how most women would think, which I hope they don't, right? If this is what it is, if you're afraid to answer simple questions because you don't want backlash from the mob, hey, <laughs> I can't keep defending you. Right? I can't defend you anymore. You know, I'm just saying. That's how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.